I calculate, if I have kept my records accurately, that we have now been marooned on our tropical island home for almost 22 months. Our lives have been at peace ever since our adversary Parsons and Bonnie Mary and their vile crew of cutthroat pirates sailed away. We pray to the dear Lord that they will never return. The birth of baby Hope has brought a newfound sense of joy and happiness to the entire family. But we all question what the future holds in store for her should we never be rescued and return home. The days are full with our routine chores, but we remain ever vigilant keeping the fort well stocked in the event we require a refuge or form of defense. Thank you, Billy. Much of our present time has been taken up with planning for the marriage of Joanna to Ben. Father, Ben, Billy, and myself are building the marriage hut, while Mother, Christina, and Emily attempt to keep Joanna calm and complete their own preparations. Do I look foolish, Mother? You look lovely. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Tell her, Emily. You do. You look truly beautiful. It's so long since I've worn a dress. It feels strange. I wonder what our friends would say in Boston if they saw us now. <laughs> <laughs> what would Grandfather say? Oh, that doesn't bear thinking about. Still, I wish you were here now. And I do regret not being able to stand in a church and see you walk down the aisle. Turn around. You look truly handsome, Joanna. That's a beautiful dress. Thank you, Mother. <laughs> I'm just thinking about tomorrow. You looking forward to getting married? Of course I am. Well, I suppose I'll have to get married someday. Who'd want to marry you? What's wrong with me? Hey, come back here. There's only Emily. Go away. You want to marry Emily? Oh, of course not. Does she know? What? Oh, poor Ernst. Ernst, leave the chickens alone. Go on, go, go. Go and get it, Bruno. Our little daughter getting married tomorrow. Hmm. No longer a child. About to become a woman. Who would have thought back in Boston? that one day I would be on a desert island, marrying my daughter to a young man we never would have countenanced at home. Oh, you're not having second thoughts, are you? No, no, I'm just thinking about the strangeness of it all. It is strange, yes. But also rather wonderful. Hmm. There is one thing that worries me about tomorrow. What's that? I don't think I know the words of the wedding ceremony. Well, compose your own. Would that be valid? It's the vows that matter. And they can hold the Bible while they say them. Yes, I suppose you're right. You know, Elizabeth, I would love to have married you on an island like this. As the dawn broke, heralding Joanna and Ben's important day, we were all unaware of the danger which lay ahead. The Viper had returned with our adversary Parsons, his mistress, Bonnie Mary, and their band of cutthroat pirates who were sailing in the waters of the outer island. The only thing on my mind was Emily. Emily. Oh, you startled me. Ah, oh, sorry. I saw you coming up the hill. The blossoms up here are so beautiful. They'll make lovely bouquets. Oh, um, I'll help you. What are you doing up here? Ah, oh, nothing. Just, you know, well, I like it up here.
Special day today, huh? Yes. Do you, um, think of marriage? Whenever I think of marriage, I think of Ong Sing. <laughs> well, he's thousands of miles away. He still owns me. How can he own you? My father betrothed me to him. Yeah, well, that's not quite the same as owning you. It is, in my father's view. And in Wong Sing's. Also, he paid him a, a great sum of money. Are you telling me that Wong Sing bought? Yes. I'm sorry. I don't like to talk about it. We must get back. Joanna will want her flowers. Don't be in such a hurry, Parsons. We need to supply the ship with fresh water first. Clear them Robinsons of the island. You'll have all the water you want. No. Water first. Mary! There's plenty of time for that. Who's the captain of the Viper, Parsons? You are my love. But don't forget there's a treasure. Yes. A treasure. Thank you, my dear. All right, men, let's go. Move. We are gathered together today in the sight of God to witness the marriage of Benjamin Thomas and Joanna Robinson. Benjamin, please take Joanna's left hand in your right. What is it? It's a wedding, Parsons. Will you, Benjamin? Take Joanna to be your lawful wedded wife. David! What'd you do that for? You waited until the ceremony was finished. And then shot him. I got him though, didn't I? I thought you were dead. Oh. Winded. Something hit me in the chest. A shot, David. Someone shot me. The ball hit the book. We better get some shelter. Yes. Was anybody hurt? We're all in one piece. Come with me. Father? Ernst, you stay here. Look! Parsons. I knew it. Come on. We must get back up to the fort. Quickly. Henrietta! Christina! Christina, no! You are dangerous all! Ernst, Ben, you bring up the rear and keep a lookout. Everyone else, come with me. There's no time to lose. Take care. You take care. There's a whole lot of them. Better get out of here. <laughs> Where? Go! No! 
Oh, we got him. Come on, man! Father. They're following us. How far? Down the bottom of the path. They're moving faster than us. We're gonna have to slow them down. Keep going. Keep going, everyone. All right. Here's what we do. Wonderful way to spend my wedding day. Wait. Wait. Uh. No! Uh. Run! Get out of the way! Uh. 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 Let him fend for himself! They're staying off the path. <sighs> we better get out of here. There you are, you vermin! <laughs> <laughs> Parsons, all we want is to live in peace. Rest in peace, Robinson. You've only one musket. Look what we have. Kill him! Women and children and a couple of boys, and you are defeated? Calm down, Parsons. You'll get us all killed. I want David Robinson's blood. You'll get it. I want it now! Mason. Fire! It's too dangerous now. Lord! Ready? Ready? Fire! Shall we hold fire, sir? All right, stop. Now listen to me. That family thinks they're safe, but they're trapped. They ain't going nowhere. We can starve them out with no danger to ourselves. But Mary... So let's go back to the treehouse and look for the treasure. Now that's in order, Parsons. <clears throat> Sinbad, you and one eye stay and keep watch. Have they gone? For the moment. <laughs> no sign of the treasure there either. Could be anywhere then. Just let me get that family into my grip and they'll lead me to it quick enough. Oh, since this time, take a drink. I don't want a drink. I just want to burn this place to the ground. Can we never be free of that man? Courage, Elizabeth. Emily. I, um, there's something that I, um, I need to tell you. What is it? 
If I had, had the money, then, then I'd, I'd buy your freedom for one cent. Would you really? Yes, I would. But would I belong to you then? <laughs> no, no, you wouldn't. You'd be free to um, marry who you wanted. Thank you, Ants. That's very kind. I'm sure she will be, darling. <laughs> Relax, Parsons. Enjoy yourself. How can I relax, Mary, with that murderer roaming loose? He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, you don't know him. He could be played on the hiding that treasure, so we'll never find it. I'm sure we can make him too. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him to throw it in the sea or somewhere so nobody could act. Yeah? Yeah. He's like that. Spite. We'd better find him then. Right. Yeah, what are you doing with that? You won't be dark for hours. I'm going to send Robinson a signal it's finished. His life, his family, <laughs> his home. Look! Look! A tree house. Oh no. It can't be. Oh, David. Christina! Christina! the musket ball. We didn't mean no harm. Well, I do. Now get out! Come on, Parsons! Not yet. I want to watch it burn. And I want that treasure. Come on! Wait, Mary. We waited so long for this. They're on the move. They've left the fort. Come on, lads, after them. Hunt them down. Don't let revenge become your mistress instead of me, Parsons. You might find both of us leave you stranded. Change course. Aye, aye, sir. Spread out! Beat through the tree. Flush them out.
Father, Ben and I would like you to complete our wedding. Now. We would rather die as man and wife, sir. Don't talk about dying. Please, Father. All right. Everyone, gather round. David, here, use this. He's finishing the marriage. I'll finish the marriage. Let them finish. No. Yes. I'm sentimental about weddings. Ben Thomas, do you take Joanna Robinson for your lawful wedded wife? I do. Joanna Robinson, do you take Ben Thomas for your lawful wedded husband? I do. Ben? Then, by the power invested in me as your father, I pronounce you man and wife. Can I kill him now? By all means. Since you'll alert the ship. I'll take no chance. That ship outguns us. And he'll blow us out of the water. Back to the Viper. We must sail. Shots, do you think? Sounded so to me, sir. Is everyone all right? I think so. Yes. yes. It's heaving too. I told you not to shoot. Robinson for you first. Did you kill him? No. Then you won't get another chance. Let's get on board. We got this day. My only hope of revenge is now. If he goes back to civilization, I've lost him. If we stay, we risk our lives. We can outfight them! You're not leaving! <laughs> 